Okay, so I mentioned in the other video that I was going to show some uh, like mini worm farm kits and some plastic bottle recycle containers, which is the secret. Well, it's not really a secret, I haven't trialled it yet, but I buy these at Coles. You know, the Coles Australia, I'm sure they're similar all right around the world. And you can, I literally found that you can cut them in half. The only problem is, is there's a hard bit here that you probably have to go through with a drill or something like bolt cutters or something to cut that. But um, there's a tap on the end, which I really like. Now, you can make your own little mini worm farm with this as long as you don't put it anywhere where it's too hot because remember it's quite big. I mean, it's quite small, so it's going to heat up more and the worms, most of your worms like to keep quite cool. So you would need to keep it like under the sink or somewhere in the shade, we're in the cool area, or out of, maybe in the back shed or something like that. And similar thing, you can put um, just a little layer of peat or newspaper across down the bottom here. I don't like newspaper, it doesn't really give them the, the bedding, they show that everywhere on YouTube. But, you know, um, newspaper is a carbon, but it doesn't really turn into anything really good quality compost where, you know, like uh, peat or or uh, the mushroom compost wheel. You can even use coconut fiber. And then put like, um, start sprinkling your food on top. Now you don't want to give them, don't overfeed them. Remember they do eat the bedding. So you just want to put a little bit on it first and test how long it takes to eat, to consume it. And then, um, you know, just spray it with a little hand sprayer like this. And, you know, we don't want it dripping too wet. But occasionally about once a week you could flood it um, with non-chlorinated water up to about yay high and turn the tap on and let it all run out and then collect your worm tea from there and uh, go and put it on your garden. So this will be um, a pretty little, cool little kit. I'm probably maybe going to test one of these soon. You can also use this, um, you know, to fill up and put near your, your garden as well. You can turn the tap on and off to water the garden. Um, you can leave it on and turn it upside down. It will slowly drip out if you want to fill it up. Now there's another container that you can get that's pretty similar. Um, the only thing is this one has a lip that you've got to pull onto here. And so you've got to pull that little lip there for the water to come out. So you know, it may be practical, but um, what I've done is I've just made a little lid to open up like that. And then you can fill it up with your compost. And then, you know, put your, make sure you put some newspaper on top of them too. Similar to what you would do in a normal worm farm. Just nice and thick to keep them cool and damp. And, keep that newspaper moist, not too wet, and um, then they'll come up at the top and lay eggs and feed, etc. So probably my choice is this one because it's got the tap in there, you know, and there's lots of things you can do with these if you can be uh, quite creative, you know, you can turn it upside down, um, you can grow uh, plants in there as well, and then, you know, maybe drill some holes. There's lots of things you can do with it. I just like the idea of a little mini worm farm that you can put under the sink or just in the garage or something like that for the kids to look at and you know you can pick up um, little small packs of 500 worms um, before maybe they start a big one this could just be an option to just try and just trial it and see how it goes all right so that's it for that video for the recycled containers i hope you enjoyed the worm farm series uh, you know we're going to be if you're watching and you're subscribing and you're watching, you know, checking out my videos, you're going to be seeing more about the, you know, obviously more about the worm farming, more about all the container gardens, more about the tomatoes and different lettuces and microgreens and what I like to call the miniature, miniature, my miniature salads and all different types of things you can eat and grow effectively. You know, I'm going to show you my mistakes along the way. You can see that I learnt quite a bit from the worm farming and made a few boo-boos, but um, fixed, fixed those errors quite quickly. On the way to go so uh, if you haven't seen this video yet we're moving these guys into the thing Karen wants to come and say hello that's the star of the show she's been out of a couple of videos she's been hanging out with nanny getting some seed for the budgies and uh, for our budgie snowflake so say hello Karen hello. and we'll see you at next video so what are they got to do to watch more videos they've got to subscribe subscribe and click the like button down below to subs you know to support us. Leave a comment if you've got any questions. And we'll see you in the next video, yeah, Karen? Yep, bye. See ya. In my next video, I talk about the dry worm bin and how to collect castings much more easily than what I have been doing. So please 
Uh, subscribe now if you're not a member already and hang around to watch the next video. Yes, it'll be coming up shortly to show you how I do that exactly. And Snowflake the bird wants to say hello too. See you in the next video soon. Bye for now. Hey, this is Marty Ware from Marty's Garden. I hope you enjoyed that video and you got lots from it. Please share it with your friends. And before you go, subscribe so you can see more videos from Karen and myself. And also, click on the link down below once you've done all that in the description box and head over to happyhouseandgarden.com. It's your social site for you. Yes, you can share all your images. You can make a free website as long as it's in the house and garden niche. Share it on Facebook, Pinterest, whatever you like, and have tons of fun along the way. And I'll see you over there because I'm in there every day. Happy gardening.